you kind of have a feeling, I know, that boxing doesn't get the, the kind of credit and support it deserves in this country a little bit. Unfortunately, it doesn't, no. You know, it's, it, it's a lot of rugby and, and soccer and, and GAA and that, but boxing, everyone only really ha hangs on to it every four years when boxers are doing well in the Olympics. Uh, and then after the Olympics, it's all forgotten about for another oh, four years. Why do you think that is? It's, you know, it needs to be made more attractive. The boxing shows, we need to have more shows in Ireland, in that national stadium. It's only used a handful of times every year. It's the only purpose-built boxing stadium in the world. It should okay. be used more often. Uh, you know, it should make them more attractive for people to come and watch boxing, you know. Uh, I, I think it's, it's slowly doing a death and it needs to be. Is it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Because I said, every four years, it's, it's, you know, everyone jumps on the bandwagon. Yeah. Um, but it needs to be, we need to have more home internationals. We need to have a fancier show, if you like, you know, uh, a more attractive show for people to come and watch. But it's, it's not happening at the moment. And would you see your own future being involved in, in boxing here? I'd, I'd love to be a part of it in some way, you know. Um, since the high performance started back in 2003, I've been part of it and I've learned so much, you know, as a boxer. Uh, now, not all boxers actually make good coaches, but uh, I have dabbled in a bit of coaching in my club in Neilstown, but I, I would love to, you know, it'd be, it'd be great to make the transition into coaching because I've learned yeah. so much to put back into the, into the, into the schoolboys of today.